Hi, and welcome to another episode of High Finance. Alaska USA Federal Credit Union restricted 10 personal accounts linked to marijuana-related businesses. Although the marijuana market is still in the beginning stages, Alaska USA wants to sever all relationships dealing with related businesses in order to avoid federal scrutiny. The closing of personal accounts has rattled marijuana supporters, who believe this measure of action is premature. According to Newsminer, bankers claim that the consequences of accepting deposits from the marijuana trade involves criminal prosecution. Alaska USA Federal Credit Union sent out a letter asking account holders who have applied for marijuana licenses to close their accounts by August 19th. The letter also stated that Alaska USA is a federally chartered credit union that does not offer account services to anyone engaged in the operation of marijuana-related businesses or any other businesses that violates federal law. The Department of Commerce and the State Pharmacy Board needs $1.8 million in order to get Ohio's medical cannabis program up and running. According to the Columbus Dispatch, the state law legalizing medical marijuana takes effect on September 8th. The $1.8 million will be divided between two agencies, which are expected to repay the funds with future licensing revenue. The Department of Commerce plans on receiving $923,000. Of that, $422,000 would go towards hiring five people, while the remaining funds would go towards consultation and the development of databases. The State Pharmacy Board will receive $882,400. Of that, $302,000 will go for hiring four new people, while the remaining will be invested in the development of a patient registration program, reporting system upgrades, and overseeing a 14-member advisory committee. This week, a new poll suggests that Los Angeles residents overwhelmingly support policy reform that allows patients access to medical marijuana delivery services. Ease commissioned a firm to conduct a poll on 842 registered LA voters last month. The polling data revealed that 75% of the city's residents support the reform of Proposition D to allow medical marijuana delivery. According to CEO of Ease, Keith McCarty, Los Angeles has the potential to serve as a great example of how tech delivery can provide patients with safe access to medicine. He states, We're excited to surface voter sentiment with LA regulators and work with them to create a tech-enabled model that works best for everyone involved. This concludes another episode. Today's news was brought to you by Cannabis Trader. Check out highfinancereport.com for the latest updates on cannabis business.